I cook just about everything. Good log. Mm -hmm. Come on in here, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Come on in here to Cookie with Sandra Fay. Today, people, today I am going to make for you pancakes. Not no ordinary pancakes from a box. Pancakes from scratch. How many of y'all have had pancakes from scratch? I know you older people have like me, you know. You understand how good it is, okay? The box is okay sometimes, but you know what, though? From scratch is so much better. And I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing for yourself and your family. And they're going to love you for it, y'all. They're going to love you. So come on in here. Come on in here, and let's get this cooking. Here are all the ingredients I will be using. One cup of whole milk. One tablespoon of sugar. One egg beaten. Three tablespoons of butter or margarine. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, real vanilla extract, not that fake stuff. And one cup of flour. And I'm going to whew, use this Pearl Millings Company syrup, original syrup. Y'all, this is really Aunt your Mama. Aunt your Mama syrup. Why? Why you take that black lady off the bottle? Why? Why? She was cute. She's been on there for years. Why? <laughs> I'm using a cast iron skillet. You can use whatever you want, okay? You can use a nonstick. That just might help you out. But you know what? This cast iron skillet is seasoned very well, so it should not be sticky. All right, let's get to cooking and mixing and everything else. Make sure you have one of these, a whisk, okay? We're gonna whisk that flour just a little bit to get all the clumps and lumps out of it. Then I'm gonna add my sugar, okay, to my one cup of self-rising flour. I forgot to tell y'all, this is self-rising flour, one cup. Man, y'all, you can do it with all purpose, but I ain't got time, y'all, to be adding baking powder and salt and all that stuff. You can make this with self-rising flour. Now I'm going to add my one egg, beaten egg. I mean, you don't have to beat it if you don't want to, but I like to beat mine, okay? All right, okay. Oh, Lord, then we're going to add the milk. Add that milk. This is one cup of milk, y'all. One cup. It's easy. Anybody can do this. Even your children. They can do this too. Yeah, buddy. Now I'm going to add my vanilla extract. Ooh, that's going to even make it taste better, y'all. Make sure you blend it in well, all right? You're going to melt your butter. Ooh, yeah. You can use two tablespoons if you don't want to use three tablespoons, okay, people? Okay, but you want to put something in here. This is going to help it to not stick. I'm getting dumb, y'all. I'm getting dumb, okay? I forgot to do the first butter, but put it in there, y'all. Put it in there. Look at that. Looks great. You're going to stir, stir, stir till you don't see any more butter. You see that? You see that? I'm telling you beginners because, you know, you old heads, y'all know better. Okay, y'all know how to cook. Y'all know what to do. Now, I can't tell you what size you should make your pancakes, only you know how big you like them, all right? Okay, if you want thicker, thicker pancakes, like I said, just add a little bit more flour, maybe like a half a cup more. Okay, all right, here we go. That's about good right there for me. Now, I'm cooking this on medium heat. Don't have your heat too high. And also, people, you can also put blueberries in here, strawberries, whatever you want to put, you know, cinnamon, whatever. Apples, you know, you can do whatever type of pancakes you like. Now, you see the bubbles right there? Do you see the bubbles? Do you see those bubbles? Okay, that lets me know it's almost time to turn this over, okay? But if you got a... Um, Non-stick skillet, make sure you don't use this metal spatula. Don't do it. 
Don't mess up your skillet, okay? But I can do this because I have a cast iron. Okay, it's time to turn it over. Bam! Now you say, oh, I don't like the way that look. Well, you know what, though? I don't care. It's going to be eating. It's still going to taste good. It's going to have a good flavor. Good flavor. Good flavor. Good flavor. Stop it, girl. Stop it. That first one didn't turn out too pretty, but this one is pretty good. Yeah. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Mm. See how it doesn't stick? And this is a cast iron skillet. I'm telling you, y'all. I'm telling you. You got to know what you're doing when it comes to these cast iron skillets. See the bubbles? See the bubbles? You peek under to see if it's ready. This one's ready. Look at that. Flip. Look how good I am. Lord have mercy. Look at that. Mmm. You can add butter on top while it's in the skillet. Look at that. Don't press down too hard, okay? You're gonna rip it. Mm-hmm. Look at the outcome, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm getting ready to put my Aunt Jemima syrup on here. I don't care if she's not on the bottle. I am going to chow down and give myself an insulin shot. It's time for a taste test, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, wait, I'm telling you. Like I said, people, you know, if you want it thicker, if you like your pancakes fluffy, just add a little bit more flour, okay? All right. Ooh. Mmm. Just like I remember. Better than the pancake box. Now my pancakes don't look so pretty, but I ain't worried about how pretty it is. I don't worry about how it tastes, y'all. As long as it's not burnt, it's not burnt, okay? It's really good, it's really good. Just like I remember. Make sure you share this recipe with people, okay? Times are getting hard. Don't buy pancake box stuff, okay? Buy yourself rice and flour, all purpose, whatever you wanna use to make your pancakes, okay? It's going to save you a whole lot of money, especially if you have a big family, okay? Now, with all that being said, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Do that for me, all right? Subscribe. I need more people. And make sure you like it. Like the whole video. Oh, even if you don't like pancakes, like the video. So why is she shaking her head? It's just a thing. It's just a thing, y'all. All right. With all that said, y'all, with all of that said, whoo, I can taste that vanilla extract. So good, y'all. With all of that being said, make sure that you come back to Cooking with Sandra Faye. <laughs>